Hey yo, what is up? Uh, the Burask is on sale right now on NA, so I thought I'd feature this tank today. We are riding with Big Noob, a really good player, and he's going to show us how to maximize our damage output in this tank. Now, if you notice, our friend Big Noob is firing full APCR shells on the number one slot now. Uh, standard shells are APCR, so are premium shells. Uh, he's swapped his premium shells around to slot number one. So make no mistake, he is firing premium shells and uh, they deliver 240 penetration uh, with the premium shells. The standard shells do 190 millimeters of penetration, uh, not as great as the premium shells, of course. They do 360 damage, and of course, this is an auto loader with a two shot magazine. This tank is legendary, everybody fears this tank. Uh, this tank in the hands of a good player, it is absolutely devastating, and you will see from this game how. Uh, a good player will take advantage of the mobility accuracy of uh, this uh, gun um, and uh, the this tank uh, what I was trying to say but anyway uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the equipment choice that you will make in this tank uh, obviously you don't have the best gun dispersions uh, this tank in stock gun dispersion is 0 0.40 which means it does not have great gun dispersion but you can midgetate that with a couple of equipment like uh, BIA skills, um, gun handling skills, uh, you can run food and reduce that dispersion a little bit further. The most popular equipment uh, in this tank is of course the vertical stabilizer. You must, uh, you must always, almost always have uh, vertical stabilizers in a tank like this. But I do know some people that don't even run vertical stabilizers and they run the IRM instead uh, because this tank has really good moving dispersions and uh, uh, traverse dispersions. Uh, some people feel that a uh, vertical stabilizer uh, is not really um, necessary. They can get away with just using the IRM and uh, increase uh, that gun handling and mobility at the same time. But that is totally up to you. I can tell you that 90% of people will run vertical stabilizers 90% um, of the time. And the other popular equipment um, that is uh, usually used in this tank is of course uh, vents. Uh, the other one is optics or uh, IRM. Uh, and the latest one which has just been released in this patch is of course the Bounty Improved Aim. The Bounty Improved Aim gives you 9% um, smaller, uh, smaller dispersion um, and it is absolutely dream to play on these tanks. I can tell you uh, the best uh, Russian streamers, a player like Shotnik and Stanlock, uh, they are running uh, vertical stabilizers, they are running uh, improved aim and they are running vents. Um, yeah, some people don't even want to play the vision game and they um, maximize their view range uh, with uh, skills. So they have maximum view range on their commander and they have maximum view range on their radio operator. So uh, they will have recon skills and they will have uh, the situational awareness skills at 100%. So this will maximize your view range, although you won't, uh, you know, you will almost get it up to the maximum 445 uh, 445 view range. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Uh, but a lot of people are opting to forego the um, optics equipment and instead uh, run vertical stabilizers. Um, they run vents and they run improved aim or um, maybe vertical stabilizers. A lot of people are um, not using the optics equipment but look at our friend here Big Noob already racking up 4,574 damage in just over four and a half minutes so that is how powerful this tank is um, if you want to keep up with the news and if you want to get in touch with me you can reach me on twitter you can reach me on facebook um, 
I'm glad to, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions or just have a chat about uh, what are the latest news and um, you know, upcoming stuff coming out from War Gaming. Uh, here you can see he is spotted by the uh, Patriot or the uh, T26E5. Now he is spotted and he is showing that he is going on the left side and as soon as he goes dark, he turns the other way around and goes to the back of the Patriot. The Patriot is looking the other way and he finishes him off um, easily just like that. Um, and now, um, because he has played so well, conserved his HP, he can be a lot more aggressive at the end game. Uh, there's just six enemy tanks left, and he can take a bigger risk right now because he's on full HP. And that is one of the skills that uh, you do need to learn as a new player. Uh, you can um, you can play a medium tank conserve all your hp and save it for the end game which is what all the good players do um, conserve all your hp as long as you can try not to trade your hp early in the game so that you can take a little bit bigger risk like this he took a hit from the strv s1 there but that's okay uh, because he was full hp so he, he took a bit of damage um, 393 damage it is a huge chunk of his hp almost one quarter of his hp but that is okay and uh and uh because he has uh conserved all his hp early on in the game uh this gives him more room to uh be more aggressive during the end game and this is where he can uh rack up even more damage uh over the period of two minutes when I was talking to you from 4,000 damage he has gone up to 6,107 damage for himself and already got the top gun with six kills uh, you can see all these good players look at how he fires through the wall because he's firing APCR shells um, and not heat shells he knows he can penetrate through uh, breakable um, uh, breakable things like walls and fences fired straight through the wall penetrated the enemy tank and took him out and uh, now with the full HP and three tanks left he knows where all other well he knows where all three tanks are basically the Emil is here the TL1 LPC at the back and the STRV that shot him earlier he takes a hit from the TL1 LPC but that's okay he manages to clip out the Emil won and take claim his life for his 8th kill and uh, now he just needs to uh, uh, reload and then finish him off. Of course the reload in the Burrask is 21.54 seconds. If you have skills, food, BIA, you can bring it down to about 19 seconds and that's exactly what he's done. So he's got about 19-20 seconds uh, reload time and then fires two blind shots in the TL1 LPC and it looks like he hit both of them so he's gonna get some uh, blind, blind shot damage as well on the TL1 LPC. No one is rushing to kill the TL1 LPC so he's even got time to, uh, re uh, to, to fire another shot into the TL1 LPC and finish him off. And now our friend Big Noob is one shot so he is almost dead he needs to stay away from the strv s1 try not to get shot by the strv s1 let his teammates uh, spot out the strv s1 and see if he can uh, do the finishing kill shot on the strv s1 he does fire one shot he makes it fires the second shot both shots clean and he finishes off that strv he looks like he's got 8,000 damage and probably a little more damage because he got some uh, blind shots in that uh, TL-1 LPC, of course, Ace Tanker, Top Gun, and yes, he did get two blind shots, which means 8,340 damage, 2,200 um, base XP in a Burrask. This is an amazing a game even made a bit of profit uh, even though he was firing full premium APCR shells uh, throughout the game 
Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.